Hey, Vinny. Hello, Terry. So, what are we watching? Today we're watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, and it's a very special episode because uh, this is for Elise's birthday. It's one of her favorite movies. Is it her birthday? I don't actually know when her birthday is, but it's going to be this year. Unfortunately, Elise doesn't watch the show. She said that maybe she'd check it out sometime. She didn't say that. I told her about the show and she didn't really say anything. <laughs> Oh no, it's Canon video. It is Canon oh, films. Oh no. What are you talking about? They did Cobra. You love Cobra? <sighs> yeah. Can I have the bottle opener, please? No. It's Canon, mate. Oh no. On the afternoon of August 18th, 1973, five young people in a Volkswagen van ran out of gas on a farm road in South Texas. Four of them were never seen again. The next morning, the one survivor, Sally Hardesty Enright, was picked up on a roadside, blood kicked, and screaming murder. Blood Sally kicked. said she had broken out of a window in hell. The girl babbled a mad tale. A cannibal family in an isolated farmhouse. Chainsawed fingers and bones. Her brother, her friends, hacked up for barbecue. Chairs made of human skeletons. Then she sank into Catatonia. Texas lawmen mounted a month-long manhunt, but could not locate the macabre farmhouse. They could find no killers and no victims. No facts, no crime. Officially, on the records, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre never happened. But during the last 13 years, over and over again, reports of bizarre, grisly chainsaw mass murders have persisted all across the state of Texas. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre has not stopped. It haunts Texas. It seems to have no end. Weird beginning. This movie has a... It, it's nothing at all like the original. It's got a completely different tone. This is over-the-top, weird, comedic, 80s horror violence. Whereas the first one is genuinely disturbing, and still, if you watch that now, it's, it's pretty messed up. Uh, the original... These days is pretty tame. It is not. Because I've sat with people who had never seen it and they watched uh, last Halloween. And they were. It, it's a very disturbing movie, the, the sound design especially. Yeah, but I mean, gore wise. There's no and... gore, but it's not needed at all. It's more psychological. No, I wouldn't say psychological. It's very visceral. I mean, you, you get, you know, you the sounds and the sights, there's no gore in it. But it's very, very disturbing. It's a little bit like um, Suspiria, where you've got that music where there's a lot of like metal sounds in it and, and drums and, and things, and it's less melody and it's just, yeah, disturbing, disturbing sounds, and it works very effectively. Break? You can break, right? Also, can they not drive faster forward than that car can drive backwards? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, pistol. Come on, man. He can hit letter boxes and stuff, but can't shoot them. Whoa. Special effects by Tom Savini. The Great. Way. Tom Savini's hands. Dennis Hopper. Dennis Hopper. Tiny Dennis Hopper. My friend guided him to his seat in uh, an opera house. 
and a few years later he was dead. I'm not saying that it was her <laughs> fault. I'm just saying that it's a hell of a coincidence. Hell of a coincidence. Wow, they got an actor even smaller than Dennis Hopper. You know, as they put the uh, the ribbons very, very low, so they can step over it. Exactly. You know why I'm here. Just an accident. Just a couple of wild punks out raising hell. Yep. One of those boys so wild, sawed his own head off for a 90 mile per hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you silly midget. Hell's exactly what they raised. We have to do that. We have to make a fries bar. I would eat them all beforehand. But that's a very nice jacket. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear what you were saying. The jacket's too loud. <laughs> she will never get rid of her. LG. You know LG's gonna get killed. Would that work a shop that sells only chainsaws and chainsaw accessories? It's very limited. Very, very limited. Mm. But I mean, Something you could cut, cut your teeth on. Too small. Yeah, I heard your wife mention that. <laughs> yellow one. Go for the yellow one. Yellow one. You want to see yellow one? Bet you choose his yellow one. I bet she doesn't. How much are we betting? He's gonna buy all of them because he's fucking nuts. What's his story? Why? Why? They mentioned that he's the uncle of Franklin, the guy in the wheelchair from the first one, and Sally, the lone survivor. So he's on all out revenge to get yes. the killers. And he gotta fight fire with fire. Or chainsaws with chainsaws. You know what? I would totally eat human flesh. Me too. Like, I don't give a fuck. It's supposed to be good meat. Because I know you already eat ass. We've gone down that area, have we? <laughs> Me the Hershey Highway. <laughs> Big trouble. I need a bracelet made out of human teeth. You're my 
That's cool. I get too embarrassed to own my request. It's too disembodied, you know. But uh, now that we're here, what's your butt? What? Jesus Christ, that was mad. Didn't see that coming up. I did not see that coming. No Leatherface wears a suit? He changes his outfits. He changes his outfits in the first one. <laughs> Sonny Bono wig? Cool. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Lick my plate, you dog dick. I've got to remember that one. Mm. I love this movie. <laughs> he just beating on him, isn't he? Yeah? Ooh. He's beating his meat more than you. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Careful stretch. They don't make him like this anymore. Hello. Do that too much for me. Yeah, because you wouldn't want this to be over the top, would you? No. You want your Texas Chainsaw Massacre sequel to be a little more subtle in the performances. I don't know. You know what you are? You're a punk-ass bitch. <laughs> I'm not a punk-ass bitch, it's just, you know. See, that's exactly what a punk-ass bitch would say. A <laughs> punk-ass bitch would say, I'm not a punk-ass bitch. Now, could you pass me another glass of soy milk? He's still alive. <laughs> you know why? He got by by the skin of his teeth. Ah, that was a familiar face. He has zero chin. It's such a good makeup job. It is. Tom Savini's de team did an excellent job. He always does, though. Hmm? Oh my God. Where's that? Is he he's still it's wrecking Grenda? shit? Yes. And he's cutting from the outside in. So he can't get out. Because he has no interest in doing that. So he's on a suicide mission. Hell yeah. What is it with the pink light? Because they scavenge light bulbs. You see things like Christmas lights strung along the uh, the corridors. Uh, 
<laughs> this is fucking weird, dude. I know, but it's such a great set. Weird. So they aren't actually in the park, they're underneath the park. Bingo. Uh oh. Who's that? That's Franklin from the first movie, his nephew. Still holding the flashlight. Good tie-in. <laughs> There's some wheel emotion in this movie. Absolutely. I'm here now. They just keep oh, rolling yeah. it out, don't they? They can't do this! Look at all the lights. Because the camera's falling long, so they can't use proper studio lights. It's actually quite a good shot. Mm hmm? Doesn't mean this is a very good movie, but it has a very bad reputation. Oh, mm. I wish he wouldn't do that though, because that that annoys me. Mm. That annoys me. You know, there, there was much more to him than just that. Yeah. <laughs> Bet you didn't saw that coming. There we go, dueling fight. chainsaws. And again. That's great. So good, it's so good. It is very, very well done. Mm -hmm. Go on then. Get him in the plate. There you yes. go. Yes. Go, get him, get him, get him. L -l -l Lick my plate, you dog dick. <laughs> <laughs> Bean <Beaned> him in. 
<laughs> See, everything lines up. Yeah. She's gonna use a chainsaw on him. There we go! Yes! Get him! Get him! Nah, because he's gonna survive, right? Excellent stunt, though. Mm -hmm. Just wish they wouldn't do that. It's the chainsaw dance from the first movie. But I wish they wouldn't do that. They want to make it to time. I've seen this movie many, many times. First, when I was a teenager, rented it by chance from the video shop. Yep. This was a first for you, maybe. Mm. What you think? I would say it is an. Excellent expansion on the whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh -huh. I think the, the, the way they made it very surreal, the way they lit it, the sets, everything super fantastic. Mm -hmm. Getting Dennis Hopper in, however they got Dennis Hopper in. A bag of coke. <laughs> Most probably. Very fantastic. I have one drawback, and that was the overuse of the uh, Leatherface dance that just got to me. Mm. Yeah. It was so overly done. That's the only drawback I have. You know, it was a good build up, good scripting, good choice of characters. Um, yeah. Nice. I agree with pretty much everything. Long time favorites, sets, effects, Tom Savini's. Finest Come work on, up to the Day of the Dead. Uh, charming, funny, crazy, bizarre. They really don't make the movies as, as crazy as this. And I would watch this movie again and again and again and again. I would actually... I would give it at least a 9 out of 10. I really would. Right. Good. More accessible than the first one? Because the first one is very serious, straight up horror. Yeah, the, the first one... You... It's got, you, know, you know what it is? You know what it is? Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1 and 2, it's kind of like The Shining and Evil Dead 2. They're, they're so far apart. Yeah, very true. But but also... The say I don't know. It's odd to say the same because it it, it very ties different. in very very well. It ties that's, in that's it ties in well, but it, it's so different that it's it's very different audiences. Yeah, true, true, yeah. true, 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 okay. true. Yeah. Uh, See it. It's great. Hardly recommend it. Right, I'm gonna go take a piss, and when I come back, I expect a few more beers to be uh, present. Where well, you can get them when you go in there. Look at this, look at this. This is like my junk in high definition. So small. No, no, it's 1080p. I'm gonna take it 1080p. <laughs> <laughs>